Just last night, police got into a bloody clash with protesters outside the Broadway Lafayette subway station after a vigil turned into chaos. Police say they found a Molotov cocktail and made several arrests. Now, this was just the latest protest as people demand criminal charges following the death of Jordan Neely. Big Southern State Al joins us tonight from Soho. The latest from the DA. Jay. Well, Corey and Shirley, as we've seen over the last week, some of the Jordan Neely demonstrations have been peaceful. Others have not. All of them unfolding against the backdrop of a wave of anticipation surrounding the Manhattan DA's office. It's now been more than a week since 24-year-old former U.S. Marine Daniel Penny walked up behind an agitated Jordan Neely and put Neely in a fatal chokehold. The NYPD, reportedly working in conjunction with the Manhattan DA's office, questioned and then released Penny. Sometimes people peer into the silence uh, and, and, and look at that as if, uh, well, the office isn't doing anything, or it's not important. It's quite the contrary. On Tuesday, unexpected comments about the case from Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg. We do not know what, if any, criminal charges prosecutors are now considering against Penny. But we do know that as Penny held Neely in that chokehold on board the F train, reportedly for 15 minutes, at least one witness on board the train warned Penny about the potential consequences. <laughs> Penny's attorneys described Neely as someone with a documented history of mental illness who aggressively threatened Penny and other passengers, adding that in placing him in that chokehold, Penny never intended to harm Neely. Neely family attorney Dante Mills speaking to News Nation's Dan Abrams. Mr. Neely was, was making comments, right? Even, I'm hungry. I, I, I don't care if I go to jail. Even I want to die. He knew or should have known that choking him for 15 minutes would kill him. The case has triggered a series of escalating demonstrations, culminating with Monday night's initially peaceful vigil, which ended with almost a dozen violent arrests in the middle of Houston Street. NYPD Chief John Chell speaking Tuesday about the department's attempts to address what he describes as outside agitators who are suspected of inciting violence and bringing a Molotov cocktail to the vigil. But what we won't accept is unlawful behavior around that protest. What we won't accept is troublemakers to come into the peaceful protests and disrupt the whole, the whole dynamic of what would happen last night. You heard D.A. Bragg in the story being very coy, not giving away exactly what his office is doing and whether or not the case has been handed to a grand jury. We'll just have to wait and see. We're live in Soho tonight. Jay Dow, Pix 11 News.